Hey everybody, it's Rob Frank. Effin. You know the whole deal. I'm not going to go through it again. How's everybody doing? It is a Tuesday morning in the Hudson Valley. Raining. Crappy. Just a general shitty day. Been a couple of weeks since I did a video for you. I figured I'd give you an update about what's been going on in my life, what's been going on in my den, what's been going on with my shaving. So, my life. Um... Last Thursday, I did pass my Class B with a passenger and school bus endorsement commercial driver's license road test. Probably one of the most harrowing 41 minutes of my entire life. And as Ronnie Greer called, called it, you never have to take this test again, Rob. And I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am to hear that. Because it was not a very nice experience. So, um, but anyway, it's done. I might have a line on a job working for Putnam County, my home county here in the Hudson Valley. We'll see what happens. I'm not holding my breath for anything. And I need to, you know, take care of my family as best as I can. So, uh, that being said, I did get a couple of mail calls over the past two weeks. And uh, I figured I'd go over those. Tell you what I've been using and what my plans are for the next period of time. As far as mail call goes, I'll give you the uh, software. I got the 11235, the Fibonacci, the 4711, the Mots, the shit. This stuff is good. I mean, it just, it smells so close to the 4711 um, Uda Cologne that I have, or EDC. Because I'm not good with French. Never much of a French person. Um, great stuff. Uh, if you get an opportunity to pick it up, pick it up. Um, my Stallion. How big your can has gotten. Uh, they re-released the uh, Stallion. Razor Rock did in a much larger tub. Um, nice inner lid. Gives you a lot more. Um, so that's uh, what I cut off for the awesome Dave Caulfield. I haven't used this soap, actually. And the smell is just spectacular. This is my next soap on my list to use. And uh, that's bringing me to the second thing in my den. Um, I have, well, let me do the hardware, and I'll tell you what my evil little brain has concocted. Um, hardware, Icon, double open comb razor. All stainless steel. Love it. Love this razor. Second, uh, Mula R41 head, which I got from Conant in the UK. So the two pieces of the head I got from Conant in the UK. I think it cost, believe it or not, with shipping, like 23, 25 US dollars. And then the handle is from Maggard Razors. It's a stainless steel handle. I'm starting to appreciate stainless steel more. Um, the handle was $16. So even when you put it together, it's not anywhere near, it's about $12, $13, maybe $14 less expensive than the heavy duty M, uh, R41 that you can get from Mula. So uh, best of both worlds if you ask for me. I've shaved it this uh, four times. Today was my fourth time. Um, love the razor. You show this show this chick some respect. I mean, she, she'll bite you, let me tell you. Um, no cuts, no scratches, no weepers, no irritation. I'm a happy guy. Uh, I also picked up, I think my last thing in its software is I picked up um, a jar of the Anchor Hair co uh, Company, Teddy Boy Matt. I'm not wearing it today because it's raining, and I don't really like water-based pomades in the rain, and I'm not going to wear an oil-based. So I just uh, slapped my Red Sox cap on today when I leave the house. I just use, on those days, I just use some uh, Panade hair tonic. So uh, this I love. Um, it smells... Ooh. It smells just like Dr. Pepper. It's... um. It's really good stuff. So, um, it's been a busy past couple of weeks and, you know, uh, I'm trying to find some time for myself, trying to find some time 
to do stuff and, um, you know, spending a lot of time with my son. Uh, we got him a PlayStation 4 for his birthday. I'm trying to be, though I loathe and despise video games. Um, I'm more of a sit across the tabletop from you kind of guy. Play a lot of solitaire war games and um, two four player um, miniatures games. Uh, it's what my son likes, so I'm going to, to do what I can. Now, I have a lot of soaps and a lot of aftershaves, and, and I never really get to use them as often as I would like to because I've always had this mindset of cycling through everything. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I'm going to give it a try. And I'm going to stop doing that. So for the next 14 days, I'm going to be using Barrister and Man Diamond, which I really, I really like this soap. It smells like, Fresh cut grass and earth and leather oh, and caramel corn. And it smells like Dutchess County Stadium to me, where the Renegades play, our local short season A ball team. They're an affiliate for the Diamondbacks for you Floridians out there. So I'm pairing this um, with. The Foo, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Foo Fougere, which is not only a personal favorite of my wife's, but also a favorite of my son's. I always catch him in here stealing my aftershave every morning. It's kind of turned into a game. I think he realizes that I know that he's using it, but um, you still have to turn everything into a game. So we'll see how that works out. Um, this... Uh, I'm going to try it for 14 days, then I'm going to probably move on to either the Stallion or I have a whole bunch of Dr. John soaps that I just, maybe I'll just combine together and do a Dr. John's citrusy thingy kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But other than that, I'm fine. I'm feeling good. Um, wanted to thank everybody for their support. In uh, Shave the Man and on Facebook for the problems, the funk I've been going through over the past period. And um, I hope everybody else is good. And I hope everybody else is uh, doing well. And remember that life is way too short. You might as well smell, you might as well smell good while you're living it. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.